Well, this year marks the 25th anniversary of Oprah's Favorite Things. I spoke to Oprah's BFF and Oprah Daily editor at large, Gail King, and Oprah Daily creative director, Adam Glassman, about her picks and how we can enjoy them too. We should also know that this segment is brought to you by Oprah Daily. Take a look. Because look what I have. We can't we see can't my see stories you, you for Rebel Girls. Oh, Rebel Girls. Yes, Yay. yes. But Sean Thompson is out of DC and she helped put it together. Oh, good. It's a great series. Good, good. It is. I have Absolutely. it too. That's good. Yeah, it's so good. I actually got some for a few family members as well. Uh, talk about this year's list and why it was so important to highlight businesses run by women, um, small business owners, as well as people of color. Well, it's really important to do that, but it's always important to do it. We've been doing it since day one for 25 years, but this year in particular, with supply chain issues, we wanted to bring it home. We wanted to focus on businesses that need all of the help and the mm -hmm. sales, and a lot of businesses that are made here in the United States, women-owned businesses like Michelle Beauty. Which Shout is out in to Washington, D.C. Yep. She's in, and do you know Kaitia? She's do you a know makeup her? artist. We have not oh. had her on, but we are aware that she's one of the items there. Yeah, I we're know. very excited that she made the list. I mean, I, I, I love Adam's point about small businesses because, listen, we've been doing it for a long time. For example, Spanx. You yep. didn't know what it was way back then. Uggs. At the time, Oprah and I weren't sure if it was Uggs or Oogs. We all know, of course, what it is now. And Tory Burch. Those were all small businesses, but look today that they are household names. That was game changing for the companies, and we like that. Absolutely. What are your favorite things, both of you, out of this year's list? Well, I'll. Uh, I like it, but I'm also sad that it's on the list, and that has to be the mask. Marissa, did you think that two years later we'd still be talking about wearing a mask? But here no. we are. No. Here we are. So since we are wearing them and you have to wear them, we highly, highly recommend the Henry mask because, A, they look good and they feel good. So big, big fan of this. And I also like his own backstory. I think that that's important, too. I know. But, uh, I'm very proud of the Life You Want Planner, planner yeah. slash journal. Mm -hmm. That would that be my created. favorite. Favorite, yeah. It's out now. It's, it's hot off the presses. Hot off the presses. All about different values that Oprah believes in, that we all obviously believe in and want to believe in, from setting your intention to finding your life's purpose. And what's exciting is if you become an Oprah Daily Insider starting in January. And we hope you will, Marissa. Because Absolutely. it is a membership program. You could follow along with Oprah and other thought leaders to do this uh, journal. Yeah, when you're an insider, you get your privilege. You, you get access to special private things that, that others don't. Like a um, PJ party that like, Gail yeah, and I did yeah, a few weeks Adam ago. Adam and I had yeah. a pajama party with Oprah Insiders. Oh. We were all wearing pajamas and all going uh -huh. over the favorite things list. And they won a lot, not won, but we gave them a lot of things that were on the list. It was a great conversation. That's like having favorite things all year long when yeah. you're an insider. Well, not it just is when you become an insider. Hey, I highly recommend yeah, that's it. That's a good yeah. way to describe it. I'm going to I'm going to steal that line, Marissa, and not credit you. It's like having favorite well, things all year long. I like well, that. Well, maybe you'll credit me for this because I know you're trying to figure out what you want to go by as the grandmother now. Yes, and I think yes. I have a good, a good name for you. Oh, gosh. Oh, Please, yes. let's yeah. hear. Gigi. Marissa, there's so many Gigi's. <laughs> Gail. There's so many GGs. Right now, I'm still Gaia. We'll see. Oprah thinks it's pretentious. Kirby thinks it's extra. Even <laughs> Seth Meyers, I was on Seth Meyers, said, well, it is a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> so right now, I'm Gaia. Maybe Luca will come up with something on his own. But right. GG, there's too many GGs. Keep working, Marissa, because I know you've got good ideas. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much for your good time. And happy you. holidays to both of you. Bye, Marissa. Good to see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye bye. Well, Keep I went working. really hard on Gigi because you know, Gail. I wanted to keep the G's. And by the way, Gaia, the name she likes, means Mother Earth. So I think that's why some people said, uh, "Girl, that's extra." Okay. But she might actually yeah. go by that instead of Grandma. I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like how she was with Marissa. I'm but, just going to say that. I, I, right? We don't know when she's joking and when she's not. It was not funny. <laughs> it was not funny. It came across as not being nice to our girl, and I'm going to defend 
Yeah. My GF, my mm. girlfriend, well, sitting right next to me. Thank you, BFF. Uh, yes. She's the kind of girl you want, though, when you go out right. and somebody messes with you. I, you I, look, I, I am like, ride or die We all need all. a holler in I, our I life. am ride or die for you all. I'm not kidding. I mean, I don't like that at all. <laughs> but I did like the list of favorite things. Okay, so. thank you, thank you. We can all agree on that. <laughs> we'll all just right. sit back and eat some popcorn. Yeah. That's what we're look, don't be coming for my people. Coming up.